The reigning monarch, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, will commemorate her 90th birthday on 21st April 2016. The Virgin Islands also recognized the 50th anniversary of Her Majesty's first visit to the territory on 23rd February 2016. Fond memories exist from the people of this territory who witnessed the 1966 visit. The office of the Deputy Governor was able to dialogue with a few persons who vividly recall their memories of that experience and today will share their story. Former educator and local historian Mr. Elmo Stout recalls the royal welcome at West End, the landing place in the territory for Her Majesty. I was a young fellow at that time, a young teacher at the Zion Hill Methodist Church School. Stanley Garden was the principal. And there was so much excitement because the Queen, Her Majesty, visiting the BVI on the 23rd of February, 1966. Old people, middle-aged people, young people, and don't ask for the children in school. They could hardly wait. Towards a morning just like this, sun bright, and water build up. People came from all over the first district and the second to see Her Majesty at Sopor's Hall. The Royal Yacht Britannia sailed right into that natural deep water harbor in West End. Drop anchor, Her Majesty made her way right up to the ordinary local wharf. Wasn't a special wharf built. It was the same old wharf. And the harbor came to life with all the local fishermen and their boats from West End. You know, West End has a peculiar type of fishing boat. And all those men were out there with their boats decorated and with pennants and flowers sailing in front of the royal barge, beside the royal barge, and behind the royal barge. I could hear some of the conch shells blowing too. This was like a glee. Woot, 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 woot. And it was a grand parade as the, Her Majesty came towards the, the, the dock. And as the Queen touched BVI soil, I was able to say, Welcome to Her Majesty! Hip, hip, hip. And the crowd went, Hooray! God bless the Queen! Welcome to the Duke of Edinburgh! And it was a jubilant environment that morning as Her Majesty walked from the barge towards the ribbon, cut it. Uncle Avity's daughter, Persia Stout, presented a bucket she met Uncle Avity, who was the member of works at the time, then um, met the administrator, and then they walked towards the convertible, and she drove to Rotong. People had come from Jasper Dyke. The motorboat went over and brought over the school children and the, a good set of the population from Jasper Dyke. Remember, we didn't have good roads on the north side of the island, but people from Cane Garden, Big Carrot Bay, Ballast Bay, Little Apple Bay, some walk. And many came over the rough hills in jeeps and land rovers and stuff. Well, the people from West End and the tower just walked down. So it was a grand affair. Can you imagine other places, big places, they hadn't had the opportunity to see the Queen at that time. And we, a little dot, were standing just beside Her Majesty. The, the excitement, the older people in the BB at that time, there was a bit of discussion at the time about if we wanted to go American. And a bit, the older people said, no way. And when you ask them why, law and order. That was the main focus. They didn't mind the economic relationship and the social this and the. 
between the American Virgin Islands. They wanted to stay British. Mr. Stout described the high esteem in which the people of the Virgin Islands felt towards Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Come to me at that time that the Queen was next to God when it comes to the British territories. God first, the Queen second. You got somebody we could look up to, we could identify with, peacetime, safety. That, that, type, of, that type of feeling um, penetrated the, 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 the communities. Um, you know, we always felt that once you were British, you felt safe. You were protected. A number of advancements took place in the territory following Her Majesty's visit. As a result of the 1966 opening of the highway, things began to change. In 1968, the comprehensive school was opened, and my God, from 120 or 125 students at the Virgin Islands um, High School, you had a 600 students going into high school now. 66 was like the, the peeping out of the, the chicken, right? You know, for, to the rest of the world. Here we are, Her Majesty, is it? You got a highway to connect the areas and electricity is gonna come because, you see, difference. Telephone, electricity start coming west. Territory now began to expand and develop. The historian shared his thoughts on what that visit signaled for the Virgin Islands. I would say the Queen's visit represents that the mother came to check on the chicks, to let the chicks know that they're still under the umbrella of her wings and there's some security. I think that's what Virgin Islanders appreciated, the security from the monarch. Thank you for viewing this special presentation highlighting the 1966 visit of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Join us next time when we'll hear about the royal reception on board the royal yacht Britannia. I remember both sides of the war you had passed through and both sides were lined with people looking to see who all were going aboard the Britannia. And of course there were, there were comments on how you were dressed. And we look forward to your presence at the 90th birthday celebrations for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II.